Hi, I'm Al Cadulo and welcome to Explore Technology. Today we're going to talk about Panasonic 3D, just slightly ahead of its time. Panasonic is definitely out to become the market leader in 3D technology for the home. There's no state secret there. It's obvious from everything that they've been doing. They already have, as many industry gurus have said, the best high definition flat panel displays. As the HD guru Gary Merson stated in his review of a 50 inch plasma display, he said, in conclusion, the Panasonic TH50PZ750 is simply the best high definition display I have ever reviewed. But now, they've launched an all out attack on a new 3D frontier. Yesterday, April 21st, they announced a new, as yet unnamed, 3D HD video camera. Now this unique approach uses one camera with twin Wally style lenses that record two streams of video onto its P2 memory cards. No details yet about price or even how the video will be processed. Now, while officially this is a concept camera, it has caused quite a bit of stir at this year's NAB show in Las Vegas. It is certainly a step towards a more streamlined system than what is being used right now by 3D producers. Right now, producers need a specially designed rig that holds two cameras, usually one sitting normally and the other either standing up or down, depending upon the style of custom 3D rig that they are using. Now let's step back and see what's brought Panasonic to this point. Back in November of last year at the 3DX Festival in Singapore, executive producer John Landau gave a talk along with a video message from the big kahuna James Cameron. Clearly the message of the day from Mr. Landau was that 3D was the biggest thing in cinema to come along since stereo. The accompanying message was that 3D could never be experienced in the home the way that it can be in the cinema. So fast forward to January at the CES show in Las Vegas and we have John Landau at the Panasonic booth extolling the virtues of 3D in the home from Panasonic. It seemed Panasonic campaigned by showing Mr. James Cameron just what they had in store for home 3D and what he saw on Panasonic's 103 inch plasma was good enough to use to watch the digital dailies of his new movie Avatar. As he put it, it was like watching it is like dreaming with your eyes open. There's a lot of buzz going around that Avatar will be the first ever 3D Blu-ray disc. Earlier this year, Panasonic created Panasonic Hollywood Laboratory Advanced Authoring Center. Quite a mouthful. It began operations effective February 1st, 2009. The center, which is located within Panasonic's Hollywood Laboratory in Universal City, California, is expected to speed up 3D Full HD Blu-ray format development and will work directly with Hollywood Studios providing 3D title development services for 3D Full HD Blu-ray titles. One more note, on April 13, 2009, stereoscopic 3D content moved one small step closer to the home TV. The Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, SIMPTI, said it will define a single mastering standard for viewing on TVs, PCs, and mobile phones stereo 3D content. That could come from optical disc, broadcast networks, or the internet. A SIMTI executive said that the group will kick off a standards effort this summer with the aim of finishing the specs within a year. Other organizations, including the Consumer Electronics Association, are working on their own 3D TV standards in parallel with the SIMTI effort. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on Explore Technology.